Hello and welcome to Pirate TV. To the flag of the United States of America and to its republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Thank you. We are having official trials this week. This is the last trial ever, and we're doing varsity only. From Monday through Thursday, come out three to four. Make sure you wear your mask and make sure you bring a physical. All is welcome. We're also having a game next Tuesday, so make sure y'all come and support us. Go Pirates! Go Pirates! Good morning, Pirates, and happy Tuesday. This morning, I'm sharing the Navion site with you for very important reasons. First, there are tasks assigned to students per grade level. These are assigned by our district and your counselors. The goal is to help you with deciding on your interests, goals, college and career planning, college applications, etc. So when you log in, you will see assigned tasks that are given to you. If you're a senior, it will say, hi, senior. If you're a junior, freshman, et cetera, you will see those. I won't be able to click because um, I'd lose the screen, but um, what you do is you log down, you scroll down and you click on see all in my planner. When you do that, you'll see your to-dos and your tasks, and it'll tell you about things that need to be completed before your conferences, et cetera. Seniors, you received information about senior conferences in your email. So the email also states that you need to complete your Navion's task prior to your senior conference. This will help you and your parent be prepared when speaking to the counselor. We will continue to send videos, links, and other information to all students using your Navion's and Outlook emails. So we want you to become very comfortable with using those. It is therefore important that you check them often. And by also, I mentioned yesterday that this is National HBCU Week and Gear Up Week. Juniors, you should have also checked your Naviance and Outlook emails because you've received information regarding HBCU Week and Gear Up students receive flyers and information regarding Gear Up activities for them and their parents throughout the week. If you have questions about that, make sure you contact me. And finally, I'd like to highlight my other favorite HBCU. And now I am referring to none other than the Alabama State University. And I am representing with my shirt. This is the alma mater of our proud principal, Dr. John, as well as my son, who is a mighty marching hornet. And I do have a band shirt, but I will not wear it. He left it because he told me I did not earn the, sh the shirt. And the cost or the price of glory is high. I know it's one of those, but that's what he says. And I love Alabama State University, the Alabama State University. So let me give you a little bit of background. Alabama State University, which is now located in Montgomery, Alabama, was founded in 1867 as the Lincoln Normal School of Marion in Marion. In December 1873, the State Board accepted the transfer of title to the school after a legislative act was passed, authorizing the state to fund a normal school, and George N. Card was named president. Thus, in 1874, this predecessor of Alabama State University became America's first state-supported educational institution for Blacks. This began ASU's history as a teacher's college. Again, this is Alabama State, or I'm sorry, the Alabama State University that I'm referring to. I encourage you students to visit them. I'm pretty sure that they will be in the... Um, be there throughout the week at the HBCU activities. So again, if you have any questions, please contact us. Again, go Pirates and have a great day. Good morning, Pirate Nation. Welcome to another great day of teaching and learning. I am Dr. John, your proud principal. 
Today is Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Let's get started. It's time for our morning affirmation. Ready? Okay. Today I will work towards securing the cap to ensure that I have a choice-filled future. Let's say that again. Today I will work towards securing the cap to ensure that I have a choice-filled future. Yes, you pirate, we want you to have a choice-filled future. We want you to have many options when you reach the 12th grade and you are approaching graduation. You can join the military, you can join the workforce, you can start a business, you can attend a two-year university or a four-year university. It's up to you. You can determine what you would like to be in life. So it's up to you pirates to work hard, get focused, and ensure that you secure the cap in real time. Pirates, I want to thank you for attending our extended learning time on yesterday. ELT is set for 9 a.m. each morning. On Mondays, you attend first block. Tuesdays, you attend second block. Wednesdays is our non-instructional day where you receive support, you conference with your teachers, and you catch up on your work to ensure that you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yes, on Thursdays, you have ELT for third block. And then on Fridays, our ELT is for fourth block. It's 40 minutes. During that 40-minute window, you'll participate in Reading Plus for 15 minutes, and then I Excel for 15 minutes. And then you'll also have an opportunity to work with your teacher on core standards that you may need remediation or enrichment. And so it's very important that you log in at 9 a.m. every day. And then your first block class will begin at 9.45 and we'll go through the day and end at 1.50. You can handle that. Yes, I know you can. All right, Pirates, on Friday, you'll get your four and a half week progress report. I can't wait to review our data to see the success that you've had during this first four and a half weeks. I know it's been different. It's been a challenge, but we are working through it together. Continue to email me, DM me, or call me. Our information is listed on the website. If you need any information, we are here to support you. As I close, I want to review our pirate traits. Let's go. As pirates, we are positive. We are intentional. We are ready. We are articulate. We are transformational. And we are engaged. Yes, as pirates, we go after whatever we want. We find the treasures. And pirates, I am here to support you. I look forward to seeing you in your virtual classrooms today. Let me shout out Miss Dunn's second block. Shout out to Tori Honar. Shout out to Marion. I went to Miss Dunn's U.S. History second block yesterday, and the level of engagement was really high. Great job, Pirates. I liked how you all were engaged in the lesson and answering questions and actively participating and working with each other as well as Miss Dunn to complete your um, live session. Great job to Miss Dunn's second block class. Pirates, I'm signing out. I look forward to seeing you all in your virtual classrooms today. Have a great day.